Hello friends and welcome you all to the channel. Happy to see you all once again in another video of Ark Survival Evolved. Have you ever wondered why we are taming dinos and how are they useful and which dino will be useful for us in the single player long run? I know right? You all need this information and I am here for you with that info. So today's video is going to be the top 10 most useful dino tames for your PvE long run. And there are many videos to come so don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also tell me your favorite and most useful dinos in the comment section below. So now without further ado let's get right into the video and also guys this is completely my personal opinion I hope you all like it. Starting off with the list we have Otter. Otter is one of the most useful dinos you could ever tame in a PvE environment. The Otter gives you better weather insulation in the game. If you find yourself a bit cold, just wear this guy on your neck and you will feel warm. Not only that, he is the only creature in the entire game who can carry artifacts in his inventory. So you can just uh, upgrade his weight and allow him to be the artifact vault you have always wanted. Not only this friends, in this accursed lonely world, if you feel dead lonely, he will be your only companion who can save you from the loneliness by shitting on your so I mean uh, sitting on your shoulders uh, to be precise. Otters will be a little hard to find but after finding it, it will be worth it. The next useful dino in the list is the Bezel Buffo who is biologically a frog on steroids. But we can write this thing. So this dino can get you a lot of cementing paste which is used for many of your evil ideas. But there is an option for cementing paste, I know it's the beaver dam. But still if you need more than you get from that, you still have to try this frog guys. I know it's hard but if Bezel before eats the insects and bugs, will, it will convert them into cementing paste. Inside stomach similar to mortar and pestle. You can bring this frog to the swamp cave and bring back home a huge amount of cementing paste on its stomach and it's completely useful. Try to take a well bred frog into the cave unless you don't want to end up in the stomach of the insects as meat stacks. The next boy in our list is Uteranus, who will look like a Therisino who had a lot of steroids but he will do the exact thing to the other dinos. Yes, Uteranus is mostly useful in raiding dinos and if you gonna fight an alpha creature with an army, uh, he will be very useful. How is he useful? Yes, this giant Therisino right here has an ability called Courage Roar which will increase the courage of your nearby dinos increasing their attack damage by 20% and damage re resistance by 25% so when you were to fight a boss you can bring 19 rexes or the dinos of your wish and one uteranus to give them steroids and you can win the fight easy peasy. The next dino is a multi-talented long nosed monster who can be useful both in land and water. Yes, Baryonyx is the name given to this dino. Before getting to know a Basilosaurus, the Baryonyx would be your good tool guide underwater with a little protection. Also he is mostly useful for cave runs both in land and underwater. The only thing is he will eat fish meat only. So fill his belly before doing these dangerous stunts, otherwise you have to take your own meat and have to run for your life. Baryonyx is quite hard to find at a good level but it will be worth it. Also if you like to tame underwater dinos, Baryonyx would be the good choice. Uh, it has a decent amount of speed, underwater can stun the creatures and can withstand and kill the creatures with medium threat level. If you are fortunate to see a hard threat level, just pray and ask for forgiveness to the Lord. The next dino is a little bigger than the dinos we have talked until now but he has the ability to do a lot of stuff. This guy right here is feared by most of the dinos in the island. Okay, who is none other than Rex. 
Rex is one of the strongest and most useful creature in the arc. You can fight anything with the horde of Rexes and also go single single fight also and would be easier too. Rex is also one of the best dino in harvesting meat and prime meat. If you are in a PvE, Rex is the best option for taking down the bosses one by one. 19 Rexes and 1 Uteranus is more than enough to complete the boss in the entire map. Let me tell you this, he is easy to tame but hard to find a good level. So good luck in finding a high level Rex and taming it. At the next spot we have a underwater tame Basilosaurus. As everyone knows Basilosaurus is mostly found in the sea and it is a passive tame except Basilos will give birth to Mandas for protection purposes. Just kidding. If you manage to tame a Basilo, then the half of the sea will be yours. You can duel any creature and go anywhere with this guy. But if you want to get the whole sea under your control, try to breed a Basilo which will have the power to assault a full grown alpha mosasaur. So he is also good at collecting biotoxin and they won't get stunned or throw you away when fighting with the jellyfish. Also, Basilo is an underwater multi-utility vehicle which will be useful for you in the later run. The next dino in our list is best known for farming stones. Yes, it's Dodicruz. If you are tired of walking, this guy has a thing for you. Yes, you can hit the rock and roll for it. The Dodicrus is a very good stone farming dino and also has the ability to reduce the weight of the stone he carries within him. He also can farm a decent amount of wood but he doesn't have any weight reduction bonus. It's only for stones. You can't use this one for fighting, cave runs or other evil stuffs but he's good. Dodicrus is a cute little thing until you punch him in the face, he will punch you back with his tawny tail. Dodies are quite easy to find in the rocky areas around the mountains. Tame him for good stone for tune. The next dino is a relative of Dodicrus whose name is Ankylosaurus. Ankylos are best known for their mining skills as Dodies. Ankylos are mostly useful for farming a large amount of metal, crystal and flint. The good part is this dino has a weight reduction buff for the metal, the weight will be reduced to 15% in its body that is more useful while farming metals in piles. In combo with an urgent Avis, it would be much easier to form and transport the metal. Ankylos can be found in same places as Dodicrus and also some can be found in the Hebuor Island. The next dino in our list is a real monster in farming and in fighting guys. Therisnosaurus is a good looking chicken with wolverine claws who can farm a lot of stuff with his claws. The multi utility wolverine claws has three types of attacks to farm different types of resources with precision. The Therisno has the ability to farm all the resources like berries, wood, fiber, rare flowers except the stone metal and the rock related stuffs. If he has a tail like Dodi or Ankylo then he can do it too. But the god blessed him with claws uh, which cannot penetrate the rock but he's happy with that. Also Therisnos are often used to raid bosses. Yes a dino is good for farming and fighting at your service. Before going to the top spot in our list, let me infect you with some honorable mentions. First is Parasaur, which is very good at farming berries in the early game, which can be used for taming, cooking and narcotics, crafting etc. The next is Pteranodon, which will be the first flyer you will ever tame and use to uncover most of the map. The next will be Ichiornis, this bird is very useful in taming carnivore dinos and it can help you get prime meat even from the lowest creatures possible. And we have Ichiosaurus which can be tamed before the Basilosaurus and you will use it to explore the sea for a while. 
a tyler collier a dire wolf or a saber tooth uh the best options for cave runs and stuffs you can it can be useful for you guys coming to the final first spot we have urgent davis magnificence the only bad you will ever need after reaching level 62 for the rest of your life urgent davis can carry more weight than any other dinos as it has the weight reduction for all the resources and not for the crafted or refined items the gods have turned a blind eye to that part but anyways uh, it is also good at hunting and also best for fighting but still that's not it when you equip a saddle the urgent davis becomes the flying mobile smithy yes you can craft anything in the urgent davis inventory which can be crafted in the smithy that's why i said this bird is the only thing you will ever need and also it can carry dinos which are little heavy than itself tamed or untamed so yeah the most useful tame you will ever tame so that's all for the list of top 10 strongest useful dinos for pve i hope you all find this video helpful and entertaining so don't forget to subscribe the channel and show your support friends and comment the dinos you think are useful for pve as well as pvp see you all on the next video until then bye bye and have a great day friends thank you for watching